It's such a privilege to be here. I'm I'm sorry about the news. I'm I'm sorry you got fired. But I just want you to know I'm here for you. So I'm here for you tonight, whatever you need. I would not have fired you. Okay. Tom brought the jokes and his Top Gun Maverick co-star Monica Barbaro to the Late Late Show where he opened up about hiring the perfect cast for his summer blockbuster. It was a long time coming and we took a lot of time finding the right people and the cast is amazing. You really put this cast through some quite intense training. I had to teach the actors about how to become pilots and the fighter pilots and I also took them through editing and lighting so that when you were up there, you knew how to start the cameras, turn them off. So they had to be absolutely spot on. While Tom was hanging with his good friend James, I'm glad it's finally here. I was with the rest of his castmates ahead of tonight's big premiere. Tom said after you do this, you always look to the skies, and it's pretty true. Miles Teller plays the son of Maverick's late friend, Goose. My dad believed in you. I'm not going to make the same mistake. How did you feel about being a part of it? Because I'm, I'm sure this movie meant something to you, the original, now being a part of this one. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think a lot of my uh, buddies were actually kind of upset that I was going to be in the sequel because they just, they don't, uh, you know, they don't, they don't want me to mess it up. But I think it was a really, you know, they're big shoes to fill, and I'm just glad I wasn't asked to, you know, remake the movie and play Goose. That's something that Anthony did so well. and. Um, but yeah, to do a movie with Tom Cruise and, you know, Jerry Bruckheimer and Joe Kaczynski, who I've worked with before, it just is, it's a really, I, I don't think it's really hit me yet that it's, you know, that I'm a part of the Top Gun story now. Jay Ellis and Lewis Pullman talked to me about Tom's Top Gun boot camp. The Navy says if you eject, you have to be able to survive in the water. So we had to go through a challenging underwater program. I had no idea how intense the training was for you guys. Has anyone told you about the swim test that we had? No. To do? Oh, you oh. don't know about the eight-hour swim test? No, I just know like, about the flying. The time like is just growing. <laughs> what? Day day. Well, it's, it's like two hours. hours of classroom time, four hours of swimming, two hours of classroom. Time. And then also, actually, a lot of swim like. Swim, uh, like rehearsal, not rehearsal. Find like, the words. Training. <laughs> Take your time. We did a lot of like weekly training. No Don't worry about it. Just <laughs> with an Olympic um, trainer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We worked with the U.S. Olympic. Michael uh, Phelps? Open water swim. <laughs> 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 he would have. He would have. It felt like he was Michael Phelps in the water with us all the time. We were asked, would you be okay with flying? That was it. That was it, yeah. And then once we all said yes, then we were told, gotcha. oh, by the way, you start swim training on Monday. We were oh all gosh. like, what? for what? Like, why? It's not even in the movie. No. And while Maverick doesn't soar into theaters until May 27th, Jennifer Connelly, a.k.a. Penny Benjamin, is taking on rumors of another sequel that hopefully won't take us 36 years to get. Would you want to be a part of it and let this love story between Maverick and Penny continue? If uh, Tom and Jerry Bruckheimer and everyone involved wants to make another one, I'll absolutely be there. We're going into combat on a level no living pilot's ever seen. Not even him. Glenn Powell, Danny Ramirez, and Greg Tarzan Davis. Extra, extra. <laughs> That's wild. This is crazy. That. I know. Are also along for the faster than the speed of sound blockbuster. I actually auditioned for Miles Teller's role uh, of Rooster, and uh, you know Miles got it and crushes it. You can't imagine anybody else playing it. At the time, I was a little sensitive. But, you know, it, it hurt, and um, you know the the role of Hangman wasn't you know great on the page, but. I sat down with Tom and, and he really said, you know, we can make this great together. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just so lucky that he kept every promise he made and that mm -hmm. I didn't pass up on this opportunity because this has really been the ride of a lifetime and I've made yeah. friends I'll have for life and I think this movie's gonna blow the world away. And speaking of Tom. You don't have a 40 year career at a high level if you're not trying to outdo your last project. So mm -hmm. he would be happy. <laughs> Guys, they can fly F 18s, whatever these names, right. but they can't handle oh, a he's, B. He's allergic. They he's allergic. Can't. He's allergic. Yeah. Are you allergic? Oh, no. He's <laughs> <laughs> Good 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 back. They can handle oh, play. All right. Can I just tell you <laughs> all the cool points we had for making this movie for two years, and uh, you let a B derail the whole thing. I'm I sorry. Just, yeah. I just single handedly it's all good. tore this Man. movie down. No, but see, the humanity, what? it's, it's so we're relatable. Approach Come on, Tarzan. <laughs> no, listen, first off. It's just Greg now. It's, it's, Greg. <laughs> it's Greg now. It's Gregory. 
It's Man, Gregory. Wait, I have to shake hands tomorrow. Oh, it landed on my yeah. hand. I didn't want a swollen right, hand. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.